Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Ravi Biradar, a technical support engineer from Informatica. In this video, we will see how to view the uh, archive data in data discovery. Okay, so let's go to this agenda. In this video, we will see how to uh, see the archive data in the data discovery from ILM UI and uh, based on uh, two options. I uh, will see how to see it from uh, browse data and uh, also from search within entity in data vault option. Okay, so let's go to ILM UI and see uh, the different options. Log into ILM and go to data discovery and uh, click on browse data. <coughs> so in order to do uh, the data discovery, the user should have the uh, user defined role assigned to it and that user defined role should be associated to an entity for which you want to do the data discovery so to uh, know how to uh, create user defined role and assign to that role to an entity and that role to a user please refer to our other uh, video on um, uh, created for uh, creating user defined role and assigning the uh, role to an entity okay so here uh, select the archive folder for which you want to see the uh, data then select the uh, entity you can search for the entity type it and click on search you will see the list of entities so select the particular entity and select the schema in which uh, the table is present select then select the particular table for which you want to see the data okay so here uh, you, there is option number of rows to be displayed by default it is 100 you can also change this uh, by entering the values okay so for this I'll just keep the default number so here you would see the list of columns and also the meta columns which are uh, default you can uh, see uh, only one column by dragging this or else you can uh, ex uh, drag all of them to display columns and see it and also you can put the uh, filter condition um, to see only uh, specific uh, records in the uh, display okay you can put the where clause by, by that after that click on search to search the data and get the data from the data vault and display it here so here it is it has extracted okay so it has got only 100 records because we have set the number of rows limited to 100 okay if you change this number into 1000 then click on search Here you can see thousand records. Thousand records are displayed. Here you can see results of one to ten of thousand because the limit is set to thousand. Okay, so now uh, let's go to uh, data discovery and see how to see the data from search within uh, entity in data vault. Okay, again select the particular folder and click on entity select the entity then here the maximum results is thousand you can change it to how, how many number of records you want to display it okay and here you can provide the search criteria on which uh, base you want to see the data okay these will now you can see the columns in the operator i'll just uh, put it as not null you can also put multiple uh, search criteria by clicking this plus sign okay and if you don't want that even then we can delete it by clicking on this red sign okay once the criteria is given then click on view to search the data and display it here you can see the data is displayed this is how uh, search within entity in data vault is displayed okay this will uh, this will show if there is any legal hold applied or retention uh, expiration date effective retention policy and also if there is any tag applied on that record and you can also see the uh, technical view for that particular uh, record 
if you click on pre technical then click on here to see the child record if that is present it will show the uh, child record so for this uh, record there is no child record present so it's not showing it okay so we have seen uh, how to uh, see the data from the data discovery using a uh, browse data and search within entity uh, in data vault options okay so this is it from this video we would love to hear from you your uh, feedback is uh, very much appreciated can use uh, any of these links to provide us the feedback okay okay thanks for watching have a nice day